Hey everybody, hope you're all doing really well. Now, as many of you who follow this channel will already know, I'm all about diversification when it comes to making money online and offline. And I'm always looking for new and interesting ways to make money, whether that's passively or actively by investing into businesses and setting up new online businesses, etc. Now, something that's always intrigued me, but I've never tried is trading bots. As the name might suggest, trading bots are automated bots that trade on your behalf. Now you can use bots to buy and trade stocks, ETFs, Forex or cryptocurrency. When it comes to cryptocurrency trading bots, one of the most used and praised by crypto investors is Bitscap. So I was delighted when they agreed to sponsor this video. When trading with bots, you'll need to have an account with an exchange such as Binance, KuCoin or Kraken. Now this is where the trades will actually take place and you'll also need an account with Bitscap to create your bots. You'll then need to give Bitscap permission to make trades on your behalf by linking your exchange account to Bitscap using an API connection. Now, like I said, using bots is not something that I'm very familiar with. So in this video, I'll be educating myself as well as giving you a brief overview of what Bitscap is, what the fees are for having an account, demonstrating how you can link your Bitscap account to your Binance account and showing you exactly how to set up your first bot. So how does Bitscap work? Bitscap trading bots use a simple and effective technique called grid trading. Now this method of trading basically distributes investments proportionally within a trading range predefined by the trader. For example, let's say you want to trade with $1,000 and you set your grid to 10 levels. This means that your buy and sell orders will take place at increments of $100 each. Now don't worry if this doesn't make any sense yet, I'll show you exactly how this works when I demonstrate setting up a bot. So can you make money from using trading bots? Well, like I say, I've not actually used one myself as yet, so I don't know, but of all the videos that I've watched on YouTube, it seems that people are making some decent returns by using trading bots. Now, you won't usually make massive profits from each trade, but a lot of small profits and a lot of small profits will add up to one big profit over the course of a trading day or a trading week. So anyway, let's head on over to Bitscap and take a look at the software. So this is the Bitscap website and as you can see there's a 7 day free trial offer on at the moment so if you want to give Bitscap a try for free you can do so um, you know, and obviously try out the bots, set one up yourself I'll go through the process of doing that shortly so you can see exactly how that's done um, and then you can give it a go and see if it's something that you want to pursue um, Before we get to the pricing plans I just want to take a quick look at the About Us section here we are Bitscap, we build smart trading automation tools to help everyone enjoy extra income in cryptocurrency. Now they've currently got 100 plus team members speaking 10 different languages. So no matter where you are in the world, there's likely someone here at Bitscap who can speak your language and communicate with you, you know, via support if you've got any questions. They've got 4 million plus monthly visits. So this platform is very, very busy and, you know, it's growing exponentially each month. Um, Bitscap was started in 2016, so they have been around a while now. And like I say, the platform is getting bigger and bigger. And, you know, just looking at the videos on YouTube from people who use the platform, you know, they've all got positive things to say about it. Um, just coming over to pricing, we just want to have a quick look at the plan, uh, plans and pricing before we actually log in and take a look at the bots themselves. So there are three different pricing plans. Um, there's a basic, an advanced, and a pro. This is obviously a six months membership. You will save if you go for the six months, but you can take out a month's membership if you want, if you just want to give it a try. Um, but obviously the prices are slightly higher. The basic plan is probably enough just to start out with. You know, if you just want to set up one or two bots, um, you can set up two of the active uh, grid bots and 10 active DCA bots or dollar cost averaging bots. This is a brand new feature. Um, I think it's replaced one of the older bots. Um, so I'm not really familiar with the DCA bots as yet, but we'll be looking at the grid bots um, when we log in. And then obviously if you go up um, to a higher plan, then you'll get more bots and more features like futures bots and trailing up bots. And then over here we've got take profit bots as well. So obviously depending on, you know, your your interest in this project and how many bots you want running and how much you will you're willing to you know trade on a day a day by day basis will determine which plan you go for but i think this best choice here advanced plan is probably the one most people go for 
So let's log into the platform. We'll just click on the go to platform here and we'll log in. So as you can see, when we first log in, we're faced with this start a new bot screen. Now there's a number of different bots here. DCA bot, which is in beta phase at the moment. This is a dollar cost averaging bot. We've got the S bot, which is one we're gonna take a look at today. We've got a classic bot and we've got the combo bot, which is for futures. And we've got a scalper bot, which as far as I can see is just for KuCoin exchanges. I'm just gonna close this down for a second while we take a quick look at some of the options across the top. So we've got trading here, which is where we can see all the current prices and charts. Then we've got this bots tab, which is the page we've just come from to set up new bots. We've got portfolio where we can see all our live bots and all the trades that they're doing and how well they're performing. And then we've got my exchanges, which is where we would add a live exchange. So if we were to click on here, we can add our exchange um, via an API key. So we can use either Binance, Binance US, KuCoin, OKX, FTX. We've got all sorts of different um, exchanges here. Now, there are various um, charges for running trades. So some of these exchanges will charge more than others. I think KuCoin seems to be one of the better ones and Kraken. Um, you know, many people seem to use those. I'm going to be using Binance today. The charges are a little bit higher i think for each trade um, but that's that's the only exchange that i use out of these here and it's the only exchange i've actually got funds in at the moment so i'll be linking binance just so you can see how that's done but the process will be pretty much the same for all of these exchanges um so i'll do that shortly um first of all we're just going to take a look at the demo account so if we switch to demo here then we can choose any one of these exchanges to use as a demo Again, I'm going to use Binance because that's the exchange I'll be using live, but you can choose any of these, you know, which, which one suits you um, and which exchange you're probably going to use in a live environment. Now, in order to set up a bot, all we do is come to bots here and we can see we've got this little pop up with the different types of bots we can choose. This is obviously restricted or reduced because we're in the demo version, so we can only see DCA, S bot and the classic bot. In the live account we're obviously going to be able to see more bots now if this pop-up isn't visible for any reason you can always come down here and click on start new bot and this will then appear so we're going to be looking at the classic bot um, initially so if we click on classic we can see we've got this page here which is a settle page for the bot we've got the chart here and then on this side we've got the parameters for the bot now, before we actually um, go through these parameters, I'm just going to come to the help section here, click on help center, and then in here, I'm going to type classic, and this will bring up details of the classic bot strategy so we can see what it's all about. So the classic bot explained, the classic bot always buys and sells a fixed amount of the base currency per order to maximize the return from each completed trade due to a progressive increase in the volumes as the price goes up. Below is an example of the LTC USDT grid. The classic bot has equally distributed base currency amongst all grid levels so that at each level it buys and sells 10 LTCs. If the price falls, it will purchase 10 LTC at each level. And in the opposite, if the price rises, it will sell 10 LTC at each level. Now we'll get through what this actually means when we set up the bot. Um, but you can see the levels here. This is obviously going up and down with the prices. When to use the classic strategy, the best time to use the classic bot strategy will be when you expect the market to have a strong uptrend. So maybe now, you know, we're, we're currently in a downward trend. We've been in this bear market for a while now. Um, so things have got to start going up soon, I would expect. So this might be a good time to start looking at, um, you know, setting up a classic bot for the uptrend. On the price rally, the classic bot has statistically proven to be more successful than the other strategies due to its investment distribution logic, which achieves a better market exposure as the price goes higher. The classic bot buys a fixed number of coins and hence increases the total amount invested on the rally. So let's come back to the bot and see exactly how we can set this up. So the first parameter we can change is the exchange. So I'm currently set on Binance. I'm going to leave it set for Binance, um, but you can choose any one of these. Now, there are trading fees involved when um, buying and selling with any of these exchanges. Some of these exchanges charge more than others. Binance is quite expensive, I believe, in comparison to, say, Kraken and KuCoin, but I've not actually used those, so I can't confirm. 
but you know you guys who use these, these exchanges you'll know which one is best for you in terms of trading fees so i'm going to stick with binance we can see we've got an available balance of thirty nine thousand three hundred and eighty dollars obviously that's just you know a fictitious number it's the demo account but this is what we're, we've got to work with the next parameter we can change is the trading pair so we're currently set to btc usdt now if you don't understand how these work basically the first um, currency or token here is bitcoin this is what's known as the base currency or the base coin and then the second one is the quote coin or quote currency this is usdt and what this means is this is the currency that will be trading so this is what we'll be buying and selling and this is the currency that we'll be using to make those trades so you need to have some usdt in your wallet in order to be buying and trading bitcoin so the next parameter we can change is the investment so this is how much we want our bot to trade for us on our behalf now it's currently set at thirty-seven thousand three hundred twenty-two dollars which is you know pretty high it's you know a lot of money to be trading and not really realistic for most people so we want to change this to something which is much more sensible and realistic so let's say we change this to a thousand dollars this means that we've got to have at least one thousand dollars of usdt in our exchange account in order to be purchasing bitcoin a thousand dollars worth of bitcoin now you can see there's an error up here that says investment is too low please set at least two thousand four hundred and twelve point seven four dollars to start the bot with these settings and that's because of this parameters down here this grid levels parameters so grid levels is basically the buy and sell intervals on any particular um bot so if we just zoom in a little bit here we can see each of these green lines would represent a buy and each of these red lines up here would represent a sale so anytime the price of bitcoin drops below the current price and hits one of these uh, green grid levels then it would make a buy the bot would make a buy and similarly anytime the price of bitcoin went higher and hit one of these red lines it would make a sale so i'm going to just change this to something a little bit uh, lower so i'm going to put 10 in for the time being just so we can see how this might work and we can see that these grid lines are now much more spaced apart so what this means is each at each of these lines here these would represent a one one hundred dollar um, buy order and these red lines would represent a one hundred dollar sell order that's one thousand dollars divided by ten grid lines so a thousand divided by ten is one hundred so each of these lines represents one hundred dollars then we've got this low price and high price here so this is basically a upper and lower limit if we were to set a trading range so if we just zoom in a little bit here so we can see these parameters we've got high price here at $37,746 and we've got low price here at $21,059 and we can set these to whatever we want so we can you know drag these into you know narrow our um, trading range or we can make them bigger to capture a bigger trading range now this isn't something i'll be using particularly i think this is more if you're into kind of technical analysis and price prediction um, but those options are there if that's something that you do so the next thing we're going to take a look at is this grid stop percentage here of 4.45 percent so this figure is a calculated figure it's calculated by this um investment amount here divided by grid levels and it comes up with this figure of 4.45 percent there's obviously much more involved in the calculation but that's how this figure is derived now we can change this if we want manually we can put this to whatever we want we could change this to six grid, uh, grid step percentage but then this grid level changes to eight so i'm going to keep that at 10 and leave this at 4.45 similarly if i was to set this to 15 then we can see this grid stop percentage comes down to 2.95 percent because we've got more grid stops uh, grid levels i should say but i'm going to leave this at 10 and then we're going to try and understand exactly what this means and what it's doing so if we just take this over here a little bit and zoom in a little bit so we can see these lines a bit better now as i said earlier each of these green lines represents a 100 dollar trade which is one thousand dollars our investment divided by 10 gives us 10 100 dollar trading levels so if the price of bitcoin drops 
to such a point where it hits this first green line here, then the bot will automatically make a $100 purchase. So we can see that the current price of Bitcoin is at $29,265. If the price drops to here, which is $28,475, then the bot will make a purchase of $100 worth of Bitcoin. Now, when it makes that purchase, it will look at this 4.45% grid stop here and it will kind of put a little marker or a line above that purchase point here of 4.45%. Then once the price of Bitcoin starts increasing again, and it gets up to this point where it's put this marker of 4.45%, it will sell that $100 worth of Bitcoin. So obviously it's selling it with a 4.45% profit. So basically we're getting $4.45 in profit. So it's buying here at this point and then selling when it gets back up to this point. And this is what this grid stop percentage is. Once the price increases again for, to by 4.45%, the bot will make a sale. Now, like I say, we can change this to whatever we want. If I was supporting 15 grid stops here, then that line that, that the bot puts in would be at 2.95% above the purchase price, and it would sell here, making us a smaller profit of 2.95%. Or we could change this to, say, 5 and then it would wait until it gets to 9.1% profit above our purchase price before making that sale so this is what the grid stop percentage is now as i said earlier this grid stop percentage can be manually overwritten so we can set this to whatever we want so if we don't want to sell our bitcoin until it's made at least i don't know eight percent profit or six percent profit whatever figure it is then we could change this manually now bear in mind if i put in eight percent here that means that our grid levels are now set at six, which means these intervals are much further spaced apart, but it also means that our purchases are much higher. So instead of $1,000 divided by 10, it's gonna be $1,000 divided by six, which is $166. So that means each of these purchases here will be for $166, which means we could get through our you know, thousand dollar investment much quicker. Um, similarly, if we set our grid levels higher, you know, if we set this to 20 grid levels, then our grid stop percentage comes down to 2.2%. It does mean that we'll be making these purchases much more frequently. So take that into account. You know, you're gonna have much more um, fees on your exchange because you're gonna be making purchases much more frequently so these things you know you need to be playing around with and, and and setting these to whatever suits your needs and requirements um but i would be sticking to 10 grid levels personally at a thousand dollars and making those purchases of a hundred dollars or i could change this to 50 grid lines 50 intervals which would mean my grid stop percentage would come down considerably to 0.87 percent i would be making much more trades Obviously, I'd be making one at every $20 then instead of $100. And I would be selling at 0.87% profit. So very small profit percentages. And you, you've obviously got to work out if this level of percent profit is greater than obviously your fees. So these are all things you need to consider when setting these parameters. Um, but I think for me, you know, I'm going to stick to probably 10 uh, grid levels, $100 trade each time and see how things go from there. Now, the next thing we need to look at is this trailing up feature here, which we can toggle on or off. If we toggle it on, we can see that the get red boxes around these two parameters here, which means there's an error somewhere. We need to make adjustments. Um, I'll just turn it off for the time being whilst we just have a read of the description. It says trailing function automatically moves the grid up when the market price increases. Stop loss feature also dynamically follows the grid if enabled. Please note that Classic Bot will use funds from your available balance to place new buy orders as the base price increases. So our trading range is basically between this upper and lower limit here, the low price and the high price. And Bitcoin has kind of stayed consistent. It's traded sideways for a while now around about this level. But if for some strange reason or not so strange in in the current market conditions but if bitcoin kind of jumped in price right above our high price here then our bot would no longer be making those buys and sells so what we want to do is we want to kind of follow this 
market price. So if we turn this trailing up on, then our grid range here, our box will move up with the market price, meaning that the market price will kind of stay in the middle of our range at all times. Now, as I said earlier, when we turn this trailing up on, we can see these red boxes around the grid stop percentage and the grid levels, which means we need to make adjustments with these parameters. So we can either change the grid levels here, somewhere between 20 and 180 it's recommended, or we could change the um, maximum percentage to 2.2%, or we could increase our investment amount here. So just bear this in mind, when you turn trailing up on, then you will need to fix some of these parameters, and you're probably gonna have to invest more into the bot as well. So the next thing we're gonna take a look at is this take profit button here. Now, if we hover over the question mark, we can see it says take profit will automatically close the bot and sell all the base currency used by the bot when the change in quote currency is equal or above the percentage you set. So as we learned earlier, the base currency is Bitcoin. That's what we're buying and selling. And the quote currency is USDT. That's what we're using to purchase the Bitcoin. Now, if I turn this take profit on and it's currently set at 5%, if I change this to 10%, what this means is I'm looking to make 10% profit on my $1,000 USDT at which point when I do make that 10%, then the bot will be closed and any remaining Bitcoin that I've got and purchased here with the bot will be sold and returned to my wallet. So we can set this to whatever we want, whether it's 5%, 10%, 20%, you know, we can set it to whatever we want. I'd be looking probably at 10%, 20% profit, something like that. Now, each time these trades are made, as we discussed earlier, when a um, Bitcoin is purchased at $100 here and then sold at $104.45 up here, which is our grid stop percentage, that money, that profit is then put into our USDT um, balance. Once that hits 10% above our starting point, then this bot will be closed and all our profits will be taken and all our Bitcoin will be sold. So that's how the take profit feature works. And finally, the last feature we've got here is the stop loss, which is exactly what it says. It stops our losses. If we hover over the question mark here, it says when the price reaches a specified stop loss level, we will sell all base currency used and close the bot. So if we turn this on, we can set our stop loss wherever we want. It's currently below our low price, but we can drag it above that if we want. So if the price of Bitcoin plummets and it gets to this point here, we can sell um, all our Bitcoin and close the bot before we obviously lose all of our investment. So that's, you know, just a safety feature. You've probably come across stop loss before um, if you've done any kind of trading before. Um, and that's a really, a really great feature. And then finally, we've got this back test button here and the start button. Now back test, if we click on this, we can see it says it's a mode using historical data to emulate bot trading. So kind of a, a simulation, if you like to see how your investment might perform. But it does say, please remember, past performance is not indicative of future results. So just bear that in mind, you know, just because something's performed well in the past, it doesn't mean it's going to perform well in the future. But really great, uh, good feature to take a look at. And then finally, we've got the start button. So when we want to start our bot, we can click start there. And then down here, we've got some strategies to show, you know, what uh, performance you can expect from these um, different pairings, GAL and Bitcoin, GMT and Bitcoin, APE and Bitcoin, et cetera, et cetera. I'm probably going to be looking at using either um, Matic, BUSD, probably something like that. Um, I'm quite keen on Matic. Uh, or maybe even Avalanche, you know, Avalanche has, has gone down considerably over the last few months, as has everything else. So, um, you know, I can only see that increasing in future. Avalanche and, and uh, Polygon Matic are two of my favorite coins. So they're the ones I'm probably going to look at um, setting up bots for. Um, so I'm just going to start this bot just so you can see how it actually works and click confirm. And then it says starting up success, your bot has been started. So that's how you set up a classic bot using Bitscap. Now, this is obviously the demo account, but the process is exactly the same, you know, for the live account. I will jump over to the live account in a second, just so I can show you how you can link your exchange account with Bitscap. Um, but before we do, I just want to take a quick look at the S bot. Now, I was going to go through and show you how to set this up, but the video has gone on 
for long enough now but the process is pretty much the same it's just that the strategy is different so you would use the s bot in a different strategy as it says here the s bot has originated from the classic bot and the crucial difference is in its investment distribution logic the s bot always sells and buys a fixed volume of the quote currency per order below is an example of the ltc usdt grid the S bot has equally allocated the investment across the grid with buy and sell orders so that the investment sum is always $100. This implies as the price falls, the bot can now buy more LTCs because its value has depreciated and hence you can afford more coins having $100 at your disposal. Conversely, when the price rises, the number of coins the S bot can sell decreases because the limit is only $100 per grid level. The allocation with an approximation is displayed in the chart below. So we looked at this chart earlier with the classic bot. When to use the SBOT strategy, the SBOT strategy can be effectively utilized if you expect the price to swing within a horizontal range. On the sideways market, the SBOT has statistically proven to be more successful than the classic bot due to its investment distribution logic, which uses the dollar cost averaging method, can also generate an extra base currency for your account. So, like I say, the, the principle's pretty much the same, you know, setting up the parameters and everything is pretty much the same as the classic bot. It's just that you'd be using this for a different strategy when you're looking at the market trading sideways rather than an upward trend like you would use the classic bot for so it's you know just depending on what you think is going to happen within the market or trends you can see in the market would determine which bot you would use and like i say there are lots of other bots you can also use when you've got a live account so there's um you know plenty of opportunity to mix and match your bots here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch over to the live mode here and then I'm going to show you exactly how you can connect your exchange. I'm going to be using Binance, but you can use any exchange you want or, you know, any exchange that Bitscap utilizes. So what I need to do is come on over to my Binance account. And I'm just going to log in here. So now that I'm in my Binance account, I want to come over to my profile here and I want to scroll down to API management. And I want to click on create API and then label API to proceed. So I can call this whatever I want. So I'm going to call it Bitsgap and click next. And then obviously just click this little security thing here so now I just need to do a little bit of security verification so I'll just get my email code and my phone number code so I'll just submit those codes and then we can see I've got this API key and a secret key now obviously these are blurred out for obvious reasons but you get the idea I'm basically just gonna copy this come back to my bits gap and then I'll paste my API key there and then come back to Binance and copy my secret key. This doesn't have a copy button. Um, we just have to select and copy it and then come back and paste that in here and then click connect. And now we can see I've got my Binance exchange account connected here and I've got a balance of 12,625 USD, which I can now use for setting up bots. So that's basically how you would set up an API. You can do the same thing with, you know, other exchanges, whether it's Kraken or, you know, whichever exchange you use. And it's really that simple. So that's just a brief overview of Bitscap. I hope that you found it useful. If you did, then please click the thumbs up button to show your appreciation and also to help push this video out to further people who want to see content like this. Now, trading bots are not for everybody, but if you want an easy to set up automated bot system for making trades for you, then Bitscap might just be what you're looking for. Now, obviously my experience is still very limited, so I can't confirm just yet if the bots are actually profitable, but there are plenty of people out there who all say that they're having enormous success. I'll do an update in a few weeks to let you know how my bots are doing, but until then, take a look at some of the videos that are on YouTube from other content creators. Now also have a read of the reviews over on Trustpilot. Again, there are loads of positive reviews about the product and also tons of positive comments about the support provided by Bitscap. 
If you have any questions or comments, then please leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer all of them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon in another video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also come and join us on Discord and also follow me on Twitter. Thanks again and as always, stay safe.